Welcome back everyone. In today's Quick Tips video, we are going to be discussing the different job settings that are available to you here within Sawgrass Print Utility. Your job settings are the information that you need to communicate to your printer so that you have the appropriate output for whatever project you're working on. The first of these job settings is whether or not the project is mirrored. Most sublimation projects do tend to be mirrored, but if you ever find yourself working with like glass or acrylic, you can always uncheck that box to turn that setting off. Uh, the next option is to center the project on the page. I'll just select that so you can all see that as you start making job setting changes to your project, your print preview will reflect those changes. From here, we're going to find a couple different menu tabs available to us. And the first of these is the product selection menu. This is where you choose the material or substrate that you're pressing your design onto. Different materials do require different amounts of ink. So it is very important to come here and choose the appropriate substrate for your project. In this case, ceramic, because this is a ceramic coffee mug project. Next, we have media size. Media size is where you choose the size of paper that you're working with. And we do have some common ones built in here for you, such as letter paper, legal paper, and different sizes of mug paper. But if you ever find yourself working with something a little bit unique, you can always create a custom paper size. Name it what you'd like, set your dimensions, and save it for future use as well. The next of these settings is media type, and media type is a little bit different. Media type is referring to the brand or type of sublimation paper that you are using. And once again, we do have some common ones already built in here for you, like TruePix Classic, Text Print, things like that. But if you don't see your particular brand of sublimation paper on this list, please be aware that type A and type B are the two most common coatings that go on sublimation paper. Most likely anything you purchase is going to work with one of these two options. My best recommendation is do a side-by-side -side test print with each to see which one is more compatible with your paper. Here we have media source. For those of you who have option trays or bypass trays, this is where you can communicate to pull the paper from those locations. If you're just working with a standard print tray, you can leave it on tray one. At the bottom of your job settings, you also have the ability to change your print orientation. You can adjust the amount of copies you're printing, choose which pages you're printing if you have multiple open, things of that nature. And the print button itself is always down here and readily available whenever you need it. That being said, that's all for today. Thank you for your time, and I will see you next time.